Training camp is underway for Penn State football. I'm Thomas Rankar for Blue White Illustrated. Subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss any highlights from the Nittany Lions open practices this summer and fall. Special team starts the day for the Nittany Lions as it usually does during Monday's open practice to start the season. That means special teams coordinator Stacey Collins was under the spotlight to begin when the media were present for the first practice. But it wasn't just special teams as we'll see here throughout. We also will introduce you to several new players for the Nittany Lions. Get a first look at some fresh faces for Penn State football. While not technically a new face as he enrolled in January, Nick Singleton takes the spotlight as Penn State's most exciting and anticipated player this fall amongst the true freshmen. Now, because of a class conflict for the first day of camp, both Catron Allen and Penn State's presumed starter, Kevon Lee, were not at practice. So Singleton was the first player through on a lot of reps and in special teams practice, working with starting linebacker Curtis Jacobs here, as you see. Singleton expected to be a part of the rotation, but as we said, not the only player. You see here Cam Miller, four-star cornerback from Florida, taking some special teams reps. We'll meet several other new players, including Tyler Johnson, four-star receiver from Virginia. Another interesting player is KJ Winston, the four-star safety in the class of 2022. He started the practice out by catching balls off the jugs machine with presumed starter and one of Penn State's top players in the secondary, Kalen King. According to Jair Brown at Big Ten Media Day, KJ Winston has the habit of shadowing Penn State's top players, trying to learn from them and soak up all the things that he can in order to accelerate his learning curve. Penn State has an opportunity for somebody to play behind Jonathan Sutherland at their new Sam Stryker linebacker. He's one of the names that might have an opportunity. The other players, the player you see here, number 14, Tyrese Mills, a six foot one, 202 pound safety out of Lackawanna Community College, a very impressive athlete in person. But it wasn't all new faces like Makai Flowers, who you see here getting some special teams coaching. There were some familiar faces as always, including Parker Washington taking first team reps going through positional drills, or Keandre Lambert-Smith in his new number one, also going through the drills in order, Malik Mega and Harrison Wallace looking very impressive as always, high pointing the football, going and getting in positional drills. Without Katron Allen or Kevon Lee at practice, Penn State was down to just a handful of running backs, Keziah Holmes and Devin Ford taking reps during the running back portion of practice. Now the number one group that Penn State fans on the Blue White Illustrated message board wanted to see and know more about was the Penn State offensive line. And unfortunately, as always at Penn State practice, they remain elusive as ever. They actually, we did get a good chance to see them up close, but I assume you aren't super interested in watching them go through ball security drills. But we'll continue to try and get you the best insight possible, get as much information when we get to go to open practice. But that'll do it today for Blue White Illustrated's view of Penn State's first practice of the season for training camp. I'm Thomas Rankar. Subscribe here so you don't miss anything from Blue White Illustrated.